Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. It is Tuesday and it's actually four o'clock. I'm starting the video late. I've been filming since yesterday, but this is the first time I'm actually talking in the video because I've been grinding out this punch needle frame. I have been having a lot of issues with my punch needle. It has been like this needle part has been falling out and you can actually like take out the needle part. I'll show you really quick. You can actually take out the needle and because this has three interchangeable needles, you can take it out and then change them and this thing keeps coming out so what i'm gonna do is because i never use the other needle sizes because i only oops because i only use like one specific size of yarn i am going to use e6000 glue to glue the needle so that it does not keep coming out because this frame took me extra long to finish because my needle kept breaking and i have another needle but that needle doesn't work so this is the only needle i have at the moment i'm going to be looking for a new punch needle because this needle is getting old i've been using Using this punch needle for over a year and I love to have a backup and that's why I have the other punch needle and it doesn't even work so I can't even use it. I finished the frame. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think I say that about every single frame but honestly I love the designs in this one. I made two custom designs for my market stock. I've been making slowly more and more stock for market so that by the time May rolls around which is Kind of around the time i'm gonna start doing markets i have a bunch of punch needle stock already made simply because these take so long to make but anyway i'm gonna stop talking here is the finished frame all the designs are so cute these two are the custom the avocado and the cherry i've done the cherry before on a mug rug but i wanted to bring it in car coaster form so that i can put it online on my website and the avocado is so freaking cute i am so obsessed with it i love avocado and the pink and the green it's just it's giving and then i also have this smiley face and this strawberry and those are going to be for phone grips i want to bring phone grips to markets and i also want to put some new phone grip designs on line for the next punch needle drop so that's why i'm kind of been making a lot of stock as well and i've been trying to do new designs so that i can start preparing for the next drop and i think it's going to be a lot of like food items and fruit types of coasters so i want to make a couple of more fruit related coasters so that i can bring those for spring and summer so that is the plan i am going to be trimming all of these coasters the threads fixing them and everything today it's four o'clock i want to kind of do that in the next like two-ish hours my finger is like really red <laughs> so we're gonna get right into prepping this I don't want to leave it till tomorrow because I'm going to put the e6000 glue on this needle and then it needs like 24 to 48 hours to dry which is perfect because I'm not gonna be punch needling tomorrow we're gonna be working on some other things trees are in green the ocean is gray sky is a vague blue come away my room is a mess it could use a hand my favorite TV shows to capture in So it is now seven o'clock. I finished prepping all of the punch needle. My hair is looking crazy because I just cleaned up the entire office and vacuumed and threw away all the garbage because that garbage bin was so full. I filmed it on my phone. So I'm gonna edit the video footage later this evening and put together like a little like TikTok or YouTube short, I don't know yet. But I finished cleaning. I even like dusted down my desk and everything. I wanna show you guys some of the new things that I made because I try to make a couple of new things with every fan that I do to accumulate new designs for the next Punchino launch because things are changing around here. I'm so excited and I can't wait to do my first launch as like the revamped Blush Designs Co. So I'm really excited. Excited, but in order to do that I need to accumulate some designs first so we have this strawberry Kindle grip she's very cute there's like this green piece that will not like go with the other green so I have to figure out 
why that is but we have this one and then we also have a little happy face so cute so those are the two new phone grips i'm trying to work on new phone grip designs i want to like i said i want to do like a fruit collection as my next drop so i've been working on doing more fruit things so we have this avocado coaster i am actually obsessed with how cute this is i think the pink and green is such a slay combo and it it's just it's so cute and then I also have a cherry car coaster. So I'm gonna get photos of these taken either tonight or tomorrow, depending on what I'm doing. I wanna do, I wanna take a shower and wash my hair because it is hurting me because I don't normally have it up in a bun. Actually, the bun's kind of cute though. I wanna mention something. I started using Pinterest more and I've, I think in the last video or maybe the video before that, we scheduled a bunch of Pinterest posts. And let me tell you, I don't know if it's actually Pinterest or not because I can't exactly see like where each order is coming from but i've gotten like yesterday i got four orders in one day in the span of like a couple of hours which is unusual for me because one i haven't been posting a lot on social media other than youtube about any of my products or anything like that and i haven't had a launch well to be fair i am running a sale but point is i've noticed a lot more traction to my website not even just orders but like visits and everything after i started scheduling posts and posting them to pinterest so maybe this is a sign that i should get on my pinterest game and it's really easy all you have to do is just post a post and put some like keywords and then it's posted and i've been getting like lots of clicks and saves and stuff so that's a tip i think we're gonna focus on that next month and if you're looking into getting some more eyes on your business definitely check out pinterest i think it's a really underrated app and i just personally i love pinterest it's just like a relaxation thing so basically i am going to be filming a reading vlog of reading some of the new books i got on my birthday because i got a bunch of gift cards and i've been saving a couple of indigo gift cards from christmas time so that i could do like a big book haul and i got so many books i think i got like six books i'll put a screenshot like of the picture and if you want to check out more book stuff i post a lot of, about books on my um, instagram so you can go check that out but the first book i'm gonna read is magnolia parks i'm not gonna talk much about it because i am gonna be filming a reading vlog about this i just have to you know like actually look more put together basically i'm filming a reading vlog I want to start getting into more like book content because that's also what i'm interested in and i want to kind of start building my personal brand. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday and it's currently 11 o'clock. I had a Pilates class this morning and I showered and I did my hair because I have a bunch of content to film today. Today is pretty much gonna be a full content day. I have a lot of videos to film, a lot of things to edit, and a couple of brand deals that I need to get reviewed and posted when it needs to be posted. So we also have orders to pack, so I need to do that today as well, but I'm gonna get started on filming some videos. Once I get back from the eye doctor, so I'm gonna go to my eye doctor appointment at 11 30 and then when we come back we're going to start filming so it's currently 11 which means I have a few minutes to sit and just kind of plan out roughly the march reset video that's the first video i want to film today i also started another video which is going to be a reading vlog i'm going to start posting more reading vlogs i think i mentioned that yesterday i'm not really sure but that is going to be posted probably late march because i have to actually read the books so yeah lots of fun content coming i want to get all my content game and i also have a bunch of content to edit on my phone since i didn't do that last night i actually started reading magnolia parks last night so i had no time to edit on my phone because i literally spent like two hours reading last night that is the plan i have a large mcdonald's iced coffee i have i got the vanilla iced coffee and for some reason this hits harder than starbucks lately so we're saving money and it's more delicious okay I finished filming the reading vlog video, the intro for it, and then I also filmed the March reset video. So now I'm going to import all the footage onto my computer and start editing that and also make the script for my podcast. For Patreon this month, I want to do a quick little chat with everyone because I feel like I've let y'all down on Patreon because I said I was going to do the Q&A video this month, but I'm so behind on that and I still have to finish filming it because... It's taking so long. I have to like plan out every answer because I can't just like answer it off the top of my head. I need to like give all the information to my queenies. So it's taking longer than I expected. I'm only human and I can't do so much. Okay, please. Anyway, so I finished filming. I have so much energy probably because I like chugged my coffee today. Anyway, so we're gonna film, just kidding. We're gonna edit the March reset video because that needs to be up tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that because it's gonna take 
quite some time because there's a lot of like titles and poppy things everywhere so <laughs> I'm gonna do that and I think I, I actually might take a break for lunch first because I'm kind of getting hungry and then we're gonna edit that but that's the plan for the rest of the afternoon I am actually really excited about filming more of like sit down videos but they do require some planning vlogs are definitely so much easier to film because I don't have to plan anything I literally just film stuff as I do them whereas sit down videos I need to like have a whole plan and a notebook and like notes and stuff because because I need that. Maybe you can film a sit down video without planning anything, but I can't. So, yeah. Okay, I think the first mode of business is definitely lunchtime. So, let's eat and then we're gonna figure out where we're gonna start because I have no idea. I'm gonna go crazy. I feel like my brain is going so fast. This is why I should not have large coffee because. Good morning everyone. It is Thursday. I feel like this week has been incredibly freaking long and it feels like it should be Friday but it is not. So we have quite a bit of items on the agenda today to get done. My eyes look really dark for some reason and I have like some ointment underneath my eye for my eczema so that's why it's like shiny. So this morning I am going to start by packaging all of the orders that I have sitting there. I've needed to package them for a couple of days now. So we're gonna get that done and then we have to make a couple of things for an order as well. We need to make a couple of mugs and then we need to make bookmarks and stickers today. So it's gonna be a pretty heavy making day and I wanna get these orders out so I can run to the post office later today and get those dropped off. And then we'll work on getting another frame prepped and ready. The March reset video went up this morning so I have to post about that on my Instagram story and then yeah. So we're gonna get started with those things. I have been feeling pretty like not tired but just like I don't know like some days I wake up and I just I really just want to stay in bed and some days I'm excited to get to work so I don't know if that's just life or if I'm just getting into a little bit of a rut so I'm gonna try my best to kind of stay focused and switch up the things I'm doing a little bit so I don't get too bored yeah so we have a pretty heavy making day today yesterday it was content day I still didn't get the content on my phone edited so I do need to get that done today like that's something I really need to do I slack so much on short form content like if it's one thing that I'm like yeah I'll get to it later it's that so I do want to make a priority for that today but I want to get these orders packaged up am I just sunshine and pink clouds in the sky Everything is right. Imagine stars lighting up the night, and the shooting stars so vibrant. You have to make a wish. Nothing's ever in your way. Scoring every shot you make. No, you've never heard of pain because you're just high on life. Every day is Saturday. Life is sweet as birthday cake. Why can't it just stay this way? Okay guys, 
So I just got back from the post office and grabbing lunch with my mom. We had Panera and they have like this new avocado melt sandwich. It was so good. And I got tomato soup. I can't go to Panera without getting tomato soup. So I just got the spoon flour order and spoon flour is where I get my fabric from. And I ordered some custom fabric. So I'm really excited to see how it turned out. I cannot wait to get to sewing. In the next vlog, we're going to be sewing it up. I'm really excited and we're also caught up on our orders. So, which means I have time for extra projects. And I really want to get a new launch together because I haven't had a launch since... I don't even know. So that means it's been too long. So I see all the fabric. I had to pay quite a hefty duty fee on this order. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love... I love. Okay. Okay, they look so good. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I see one of the patterns that I've drawn. It's so freaking crazy scene. So the first pattern I got are these bows. This is going to be for a book sleeve because the pattern is too big to be for a wristlet. But I do want to get more wristlets made as well. Then this is a pattern that I've drawn myself. Look at how cute she is. This would be so cute as a wristlet or even a book sleeve. Then we have another pattern that is going to be for a book sleeve. This is my Dainty Florals pattern. I love this one. This one is so cute. I'm excited to make it into a book sleeve. We have this like groovy orange floral pattern. This floral one. This one is so pretty. Oops. We have another like we have a checkered pattern. This floral pattern this pattern this one is really big i don't know i didn't know it was that big then i got some canadian designs because i want to start bringing a couple of like canadian-esque designs to my market shows so i got this canadian stamp design it's so cute and then i got some canadian little emblems the canadian maple leaf the little beaver so we love and then i got this rainbow plaid so those are the patterns i am so freaking excited to get to sewing my favorite is this so far <laughs> i just love it i'm so excited look at all the fabric it looks so cute i'm so excited to make stuff with this good morning guys i have not quite gotten ready for the day yet i want to straighten my hair because it looks so crazy but i wanted to touch base and kind of give you a plan of the day because i'm gonna be working like task after task so here's the plan for the day so i already designed all the stuff for the frame let me show it to you so this frame is ready to be punched i'm so excited to do this frame my friend jill from 11 creations she is my business bestie so she reached out to me this morning and she literally texted me like at the perfect time i was just drinking my coffee and eating my breakfast and she asked me if she, i could make her a custom mug rug of her new logo because she just got like her whole branding redone i'm so excited this is her logo right here it is very much giving everything and i'm so excited to punch it out the colors just work together i'm i'm so excited i love doing customs i think i've mentioned this before but i love to make custom mug rugs custom orders even custom like projects like if you want a bigger design a smaller design whatever you want if you want something punch needle i am the gal for you you can send me an email a dm you can comment it here i love working on customs just gets me so excited but after i'm gonna go like change get a little ready for the day do my hair and then i'm gonna work on doing this scheduled fair order i was supposed to do it yesterday but for some reason i didn't so i'm gonna work on it today i just have to do bookmarks and stickers for this order i'm pretty sure so i'm gonna get those all ready printed and set to go out later this evening and then my boyfriend's coming over because i need to help him with something on the computer and i do want to go to michael's and i have to go to the yarn store today so those are going to be for later in the evening after i go to pilates actually no i have to go to the yarn store before i go to pilates because otherwise it's going to close i very rarely film on the weekends because i save the weekends for relaxation but i'm going to be finishing this frame over the weekend so i feel like i'll just film into tomorrow and then i'll spend sunday editing this vlog it usually takes me like five hours to edit a vlog so so I could be setting myself up for failure right now, but we'll see because I I don't feel I feel like I haven't filmed a lot this week. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to go get changed and then we're going to start on this order. Now that I just finished getting ready, I feel so much more motivated to work. It is definitely not a myth that if you get ready, especially when you work from home, if you get ready and like feel like you're going to be going out, it's proven that you're going to be more productive. So take it from me. I feel 
more productive already and I feel just better like my hair looks better look good feel good you know I'm gonna print out the stickers and I'm gonna print out the bookmarks and this order is gonna be ready to go and then we'll get to punch needling and the yarn store because I do need to get more yarn I don't have enough to finish these orders like next week I'm gonna have no yarn balls left so I have to do that and I have my exciting packages coming on Monday I believe or Tuesday it is it is entered Canada and it's actually in the warehouse. I checked the tracking. I paid the duties on it this morning. So I'm so excited for it to come. Next week is gonna be full of new things. We have sewing that we're gonna do, the new surprise thing that I've been working on. I've been working on this for like the past like two months almost. So we have more things to do. Once it actually arrives, I can kind of see how it's gonna be put together. I need to order a couple of extra things. Then we need to go to Michael's and get some, some other stuff. So I'm so excited for just the new direction. I know I keep saying this, but honestly, I just, I feel so good about this change. And I feel like this is definitely what I needed to one, spark that like passion again. I really love my business and I love where it's at right now, but I feel like I just want to be able to put more of my energy into this, like the tufting, rugs, punch needle, sewing, like those are things I really enjoy doing. And I feel like this will really set my business apart so we can grow and I'm just so excited like there's just so many things that are coming and I'm just I'm so pumped so let me get to work and stop talking about the future because we have things to do right now in the present so we're gonna drink my coffee in my strawberry coffee sleeve I'm also wearing my straw whoa my strawberry slippers too so it's a strawberry moment I'm gonna continue working and I'll see you guys once we're ready to move on to the next thing filming on my phone because my camera SD card is full and I don't feel like getting another one. I'm so excited guys. The package that I told you guys about, I think it this morning, that was coming from FedEx actually came just now. I was about to pack up and go to the yarn store and go to Michael's and it arrived. I am so excited. I literally can't contain my excitement because this has been in the works when I tell you for like two months now. I cannot wait like this. Oh my god. The time is finally coming. The, the time is finally coming. You all have been asking for tips and stuff on punch needle and I'm so excited to finally be able to have the stuff here and now all I have to do is go to Michael's and get a couple of extra things and then order something on Amazon and then I can put them together and finally share the news. I'm so excited. If you guys have already been able to kind of decide what is coming then kudos to you. I posted a little sneaky peek on Instagram today on my stories just now of the box. I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to work on this over the weekend and order the things I need to order so that I can kind of get everything set up. Y'all, I'm so excited. I Like, I've never been more excited for something in my whole entire life. I'm telling you guys, the rebrand and like the redirection of this business is probably going to be the best thing I ever decided to do in my whole life. I'm going to go to the store now because I'm just so happy. The sun is shining. My mood is great. I'm so excited for these new products that I'm going to be bringing in the next couple of weeks. <sighs> the vibes are just high. Happy Friday. I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Okay guys, so it's Saturday and I'm on the brink of a mental breakdown. I spent all day doing this frame only for it to now look like this. It is so loose. As you can see, I can really push it out to the side. I know it doesn't seem like a lot for you, but it is a lot and it moves when I do this. It was so taut when I started the frame. So this coaster was completely wasted and this one at the top, completely wasted. Most of these coasters are really horrible. They're blotchy and a lot of them are just not usable. You can probably hear the washing machine in the background, but I'm gonna close this vlog out here. I had quite a little bit of an ordeal with the last frame that I just worked on. I have some viable coasters. Some of them I'm gonna try my best to fix, move the threads around, try to fill in the spaces that kept coming undone because of how loose the fabric was. And I'm gonna, I just put on a new frame. I trimmed the edges of the fabric so that nothing gets caught and it's not gonna come loose, hopefully. I am switching back to my old punch needle. So I told you guys that I got another one. Like I've had this one for a while, but it was also broken. So then I put glue around the part that was coming loose. And then on my needle that I use every single day for like the past year and a half, I put glue but I put glue in the inside by accident so then the threader wasn't able to go through so I fixed it I was able to use my muscle strength and get the needle out of the socket that it goes into and then I just put glue on the outer part so that the needle doesn't turn because in order to lock it in the holder you have to turn it and then for some reason it kept getting like unlocked and then the needle would fall out so it would slow my process down but I think like either the frame fabric was getting loose or the needle was making it loose so I like I didn't want to change my punch needle in the first place because if it ain't broke don't fix it so I'm gonna try reverting back to my old needle I'm gonna put some new designs on the frame I don't have enough coasters to send out the wholesale order that I wanted to because one of the coasters that was ruined was one of the coasters for the wholesale. So I'm still on track nonetheless. Like these orders don't have to go out until like the following week. So I still have time. I just kind of wanted to get ahead, especially because I'm planning to launch the special thing that I'm not telling you guys yet. Um, so I have to work on that too. And I only have one of these frames. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to using the stapled frames for the thing that I'm testing out. And then um, in the meantime, I'm going to order another one of these frames, maybe a smaller version, because I need to have some backups in case something like this happens again. I just needed a little bit of a breather to just calm down because I was really like upset and I was definitely crying about it because I don't know, it's just like it's really defeating when I spend literally like five hours today punch needling on a weekend and I normally like to give myself the weekend to recuperate especially give my hand a break and so I like voluntarily was like you know what I'm gonna work today and just get this frame done I'm gonna sit down for five hours at a time because normally I usually do three hours a day so I'm just gonna sit down today for five hours and just get this frame done but that's okay I just wanted to get ahead basically and I I did kind of get ahead but I also didn't at the same time because I was hoping to finish at least one wholesale order and I still didn't get to do that because the one that broke was the one that I needed for the order. So I just felt a little bit defeated and I just my emotions were really high so I feel a little bit better now and I just glued my new needle or my old needle so hopefully when it's dry tomorrow I'll be able to see if the threader can go through and if it does I'll put it in the needle holder and we'll get to punching on monday i'm gonna edit this vlog tomorrow all day because it's gonna take long and i really wish that i didn't end up punch needling today but i mean it is maybe a good thing that i did punch needle today instead of next week so that because if i started this frame next week and finished it by tuesday then i would start to slowly be running behind on orders so silver linings i'm glad that i ha this happened to me today because i didn't have to punch needle today but i did anyway i don't know like maybe it was the needle maybe it was the way i put the frame on but oh well it's done what's done is done some of them are viable and like i said i'm gonna try to fix some of them so i hope you guys did enjoy this week's video if you did please make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any more videos from me i post reset videos every single month and i post studio vlogs and I'm going to start to bring a little bit more different non-business related content here as well. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys all next week. Have a lovely, amazing evening, afternoon or morning, wherever you are. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.